You do research. <laughs> It was a burgundy dress with a little that. white feather bow. It was just like the most beautiful color and that so white pretty. feather I bow was that so, one. so pretty. My favorite is the one that you wore. It's from, the, I think from the same show, the, the black dress. The black tool yeah, one and that was on, yeah, that was on, yeah, that was on Spider, I and think Spider-Man. Yeah. yeah. In the back there was this really pretty like crystal chain links and my mom had done the whole back of that dress for us. But it's just special to me that you wore that one. But their mom made these, these poppies as a drawing from their moms from the 70s. Yeah. yeah. Like I remember wearing jellies with, sh with like socks <laughs> yeah. to like the MTV Awards or yeah, something. <laughs> like high heel jellies. With anything, when you're a teenager, you like migrate to certain things. And I was also lucky, I had pretty good influences as a young kid. Like, I mean, at 16, I was working with Sofia Cop Coppola would like the chic it's style to me and mm -hmm. so I had a good uh, I had good influences to not like change things about myself or and I think just you know your taste eventually evolves and you migrate to things that you feel beautiful in. Well, you know, being younger, I got exposed to a lot of different designers and Christian Lacroix was always my favorite. He always did things that were like so different from anything I'd ever seen before. And it's such a classic shoe and it gives you height without looking like a, you know, it's it keeps it classy. Classic. And I love that she asked you about that only because for me, as someone before I knew Kirsten, before, we'd, even before you wore our clothes, I remember thinking, I think she's the best dressed actress because you love Lacroix. And for yeah. me as a designer, like a designer, that's the kind of designer's designer. Like for me, it was like LaCroix Couture was the end all be all. Who's getting married? Guys, yeah, what you I know. know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yes. have an engagement ring. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Well, it's yeah. exciting. You know, I mean, I, I feel like there could be a few firsts here because they're like, how many sister directors how many directors that make a wedding, wedding dress <laughs> for the person in the film and then make other dresses that you wear. I was like, it's yeah. actually really strange, but you know, it means a lot. I think we actually have only done a handful of wedding dresses in our career and we've only done them for people we're really close with because it's an emotional thing, you know, when you wear it to get married. It's kind of the most, it's just a magical thing to create that with someone. There's too many ideas right now. Yeah, yeah we have to narrow it that down. Way. We have to narrow we have it down. To figure out where we're going. You know the thing that I really discovered about Kirsten in this entire process was working with her and seeing her, this amazing spirit that she has. It's really powerful. It kind of can drive anything. So her liveliness and her kind of care about people and the, the entire crew really let people feel like they needed to believe in the project. So in her own sense, she's like the, an incredible leader. Um, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. That was so good. So now sweet. what am I supposed to say? <laughs> the one thing we're dying to tell you is go see Woodshock September 22nd.